Hello and welcome to this episode of Home Entertainment. I'm Mackenzie Decker. And I'm Denisha McDowell. Today we will be giving you a review on Jagged Little Pill, where me and Denisha attended opening night. Yes, it was so much fun attending with you, Kenzie. It was. It's always a great time at the Warren Center. Absolutely. <laughs> Just like how our previous home entertainment review was set up, we have a short list of questions that we will be going through to give you our take on the show. And Mackenzie, why don't you answer the first question? What was your overall thoughts about Jagged Little Pill? I thought Jagged Little Pill was incredible, top to bottom. The performers were so strong. They all had incredible voices, incredible dance moves, um, the lights, the setting, all of it. It just told such a great story. And something that I really admire about Jagged Little Pill is they don't stray away from the tough topics. Um, all the way through, there are some really heavy things talked about and some that are really important in today's society and so I thought it was amazing to just start a conversation with that and you could tell it was really meant to have an impact and I loved it top to bottom. Absolutely I 100% agree especially the topics when it comes to mental health mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of self-identity which was very important and to bring awareness for everyone to that are going through the same things as well too so overall I completely agree the play was 100% amazing. Absolutely and going off of that what was your favorite scene from the show? Oh my goodness, there's so many scenes. <laughs> yeah, right, they're all great. So many scenes. I want to say before the end of the show, it was the song called No, and I was interviewing Al Allison Shepard, who plays Bella Fox, and she did an incredible job singing that song, No. It was really empowering. Everything that they talked about really resonated, but not only with me, but I know with the audience, so that was a really great scene of mine. Yeah, yes. for sure. My favorite is probably the very last scene of the show. Um, you kind of see the family go through some really tough things throughout the show. Um, I mean, a lot of topics that are just really hard. And so they're kind of having a battle with keeping their persona seeming like it's all okay, when inside it's really falling apart. And so I feel like at the end, it's the first time you really see them accept each other for who they are and what they're going through. And they kind of peel the layers back and it's all honest and it's all love and they're all there together. And so I felt like it was a really sweet way to like wrap it all up. Absolutely, they had unveiled it very beautifully so I couldn't agree more. The next question is, who was your favorite performer on the show? My favorite performer was Heidi Lickenstaff. She played Mary Jane Healy. So she was the mom, um, kind of the leading lady, and she was incredible. I mean, she's truly just a master of her craft. Her voice is so stunning, and I felt like she was able to tell the story so well. I mean, some parts were super funny, and she's just a funny mom, and some parts were really deep and really heavy. and no matter which side of the spectrum she was trying to portray, she did it incredibly. Yes, her role was very, very powerful, especially balancing all the different, again, heavy topics that was discussed in the show, so she did an incredible job. Yeah, absolutely. I would have to say my favorite character was Frankie Healy. Lauren Chanel plays her. Her voice, her vocals, incredibly, like, amazing powerful and the songs even the high notes and low notes that she hit and just her personality overall to really showcase who she was as the daughter and especially as the adopted daughter too but she stood out and really just stayed true for herself she's she a powerhouse yes yeah like she's kind of i don't know how old she is but she's kind of little and so like just that voice coming <laughs> out of her like she's incredible yes. yeah she's amazing absolutely all the actors and actresses from the show were oh, incredible. Incredible. Yes. And they all worked so well together. It was like the perfect cast. I agree. <laughs> and um, coming off of that, what was your favorite song from the performance? My favorite song, again, would have to be No. It was very incredible. It was just more so silent but powerful especially when the song was being played too. Yeah, for sure. I think that like the reason why these songs are so touching is because I feel like all of the performers really put themselves 
in the shoes of like what the song was trying to portray like mm -hmm. you could feel it through them you could feel the pain you could feel all of it and so yeah I agree that was a great one my favorite would probably be you learn which again was the final song because I don't know there was something about just seeing them go through everything top to bottom and just have it like end so beautifully and I mean everyone from the family kind of took turns singing it together and then the cast came out and so again it was just it was such a beautiful song it was like a nice way to tie it up leave the lesson I just I loved it yes it was the ultimate grand finale for yes, sure. so, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and my next question is what would you rate the musical overall one out of ten ten out of ten for sure yes. this was amazing I mean I can't say it enough I when I went in I didn't know what to expect um and so I didn't really know what the play was going to be about and it blew me away I mean I think it's just an important piece for everyone to see I think that it just carries so many important messages and it's amazing Absolutely. No, I completely agree. 10 out of 10 for the <laughs> show. It really is important for everybody to come and watch because it can help them to build on more conversations, to talk about the important topics that it's ongoing here and to have an overall resolution. So Jagged Little Pill did a great job incorporating all the topics and overall the performance that they have done. Absolutely. And one final question for you. Would you recommend everyone to attend the show? Absolutely. <laughs> like I said, a lot of the topics that we're discussing in the show, and especially when it comes to all of us here in real life, we don't talk about it as much. It's kind of just pushed away. What I loved about Jagged Little Pill, the musical, and how the actors go about t discussing the topics, even when it comes to the songs, the, how, the meaning behind it. It's super important to really sit down and watch and be able to help resonate with you, resonate with others, and come together. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, the Wharton Center, again, has just put on a beautiful show. Um, but even beyond, like, the music, like, even like you were saying, like, the science that they have and just the messages that they're spreading, like, I absolutely agree. If there was one piece that everybody should see in their lifetime, it's Jagged Little Pill. Yes. We want to give a special thank you to Bob Hoffman and the entire staff at the Wharton Center for allowing us to attend the show and interviewing one of their cast members, Allison Shepard, who plays Bella Fox. We appreciate you all for continuing to collaborate with us here at Home TV. Jagged Little Pill will still be playing at the Wharton Center until Sunday, February 5th, so make sure to grab your tickets. That's all for today's episode of Home Entertainment. I'm Denisha McDowell. And I'm Mackenzie Decker. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.